this is part two of our three-part series where we do a 24-hour in-game time hunt performing this hunt glitch exploit where when we go down to the butcher we close the game simulating a disconnection or a server crash so that when we start the game back up and log back in we come right up to this exact same spot every time where we have these birds and various other animals that we can just hurry up and gun down, throw on our horse, and head right back down to the butcher and repeat all over again. This is a pretty good method. As you can see at the top, I earned $50.71 along with 424 XP in 18 minutes and 53 seconds. Now I've crunched that 18 minutes and 53 seconds down to under 5 minutes for your viewing pleasure. I don't want to waste your time having you watch me run around and do stupid things like, you know, ride the trails on a horse. I've done a lot of time lapsing to just kind of eliminate that. So you're going to just be watching kills and sales. Just, you know, the money making part of the whole scheme. Now, you know, there is a total of two hunts that is occurring over this 18 minute and 53 second period. So I'm not making $50.71 in one hunt. I'm actually visiting the butcher twice during this time period, and that includes all the time it takes to load in between Let's sessions as well. So okay. now I'm down at the butcher. I'm going to sell everything I got. And now if after you're done selling, you need some ammunition, you can go ahead and you can run to the post office. Fill up on ammunition. That's not a problem. And then after, do what you're, I'm doing here. Open the menu and go. Quit the application and start it back up. Load back into the game. And once you load back into the game, voila. We're right back where we started. A whole bunch of things to shoot and gun up again. Load on our horse. Make some more money with. This is a pretty legit method. I mean, like, it's kind of boring having the loading screens. I completely get that. And there is another method where you can go into the settings on your Xbox and disconnect from the network. Or you could just like unplug your network cable for a second and plug it back in. But since I capture over my network, that's not something that I can really even demonstrate to you. Because I can't make a video if I need my network in order to make a video. You know, I can't make a video doing that. And not only that, if you're in a party with friends that will disconnect from your party with friends. You know, obviously any connections you have to the internet on that device, if you're going to be disconnecting... The network connection you're going to be losing those connections but if you wanted to you can do that and it might speed the process up a little bit over closing the application to simulate the crash that way but it won't speed it up a whole lot i mean like you're going to save what like maybe 10 seconds which i know will accumulate over time because it's it's not like when you plug the cable in you're right back up immediately it still takes time for your Xbox to connect back to the network. So in that time period is, you know, kind of being awash to some of the time period to restarting the console. So I just want to let you know that that's also an option. You don't have to close the application. You can switch out. So I'll catch you on the next video. On part three, I'm going to have a summary of all three hunts combined into one. And that, again, covers the 24-hour in-game period. I'll catch you at the next video. Until then, happy hunting and happy trails. And if you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you don't want to catch new upcoming methods. I'll see you then.